Well, hello everyone, you're here with another LEGO Movie 2 set review, and probably the last for now. May, I might do some more in the future, but we'll see. So, today's review is on the Wild Mayhem Starfighter. So, on the front of the box here, we see LEGO logo, LEGO Movie 2 logo, and the border, as all the sets do. Picture of everything in action, and age recommendation 8 and up, set number 70849. Has 405 pieces. Then flip to the back. You see an interesting position and the, all the features of it and close ups of all the figures included. In yeah. And on to the booklet. Same pictures on the front and everything, and in the thick book style and everything. On the back, how to win on the online survey after the year, some of the earlier winter sets and the spring wave sets. And the pieces included, and that's the Lego Life, of course. So now, on to the figures. First of it is Wild Style slash Lucy. Of course, with the same hairpiece as the uh, in the uh, Shimmer Shine Sparkle Spa set, and also the Azure uh, or not Azure uh, uh, Sparkle Babies set. But as in the pants print of which, same as in most of the other sets, and same hood piece as 2014 did, and same torque back print and everything, and arm prints as well. And also different uh, head print on both sides, which exclusive to this set. And next up, we get a Sweet Mayhem, but of which exclusive to this set. And this version of which does not include that helmet. But you see the same hairpiece and everything, but the face print exclusive to this. Looking all chipper and everything. Same exact everything. And next up is an, is Emmett with the same exact torso print as in the uh, Rex Seltzer set. Like I with a quite shocked expression, which I believe might be exclusive to this set or that one. Uh, not sure though. And from the back, and you see his double side face. And as an option included with this set is also get the uh, Rex Danger Fest hairpiece in lighter brown, of which is fitting for him. And then lastly, is an exclusive variant of Rex Danger Fest. So, as his face print of which is exclusive to this set, but everything else about the same as it's been in a few other sets. Come on, there we go. But also, what's exclusive to this one is the like stud shooter to it. And also, this little backpack thing made of a couple of slopes. The back face print of it, all shocked and all also exclusive to this and also to the backpack you also get one of the uh, Nexo Knight slash Ninjago uh, lightning bolt pieces to make it act be a thrust to it and also what you get in this set are three exclusive variants of the uh, star guys each with a different expression other than with just the smiley faces and all. And one of which, and also get two of them on a, a panel tile piece, which is part of one of the features of this set. Oops, hang on a sec. So, onto the uh, Starfire itself. A pretty interesting one. And 
from first glance, it feels kind of like the like Sistar ship, but mixed with a Gungan sub uh, from Star Wars. Well, Star Wars of 2012. So, as for the front area of which, which as you see, has those large uh, UFO pieces there. And also, as you see, color scheme mainly of white and black, uh, darkish pink, light blue, and uh, turquoise slash teal. And also, this accent of the sparkly purple cones from a couple other sets. But inter nice to get here as well. You see front area with the like turquoise, these uh, rounded slopes there, and also a little shooter in the front. Also these dome pieces that are on the like uh, ratcheted style of hinges. You see enough seating area with the like things for minifig legs, and also a couple of of the like Nexo Knights book pieces, but in trans purple and a couple of stickers on them. Let me get that. Uh, it's kind of a hard to get Sweet Mayhem in one in this seat. Which makes the hair comb loose and all. A bit easier with Lucy. But about how this, how the effect of this, of these plates working is for a couple of hinges in there. Of which, good props to Lego for that. And a lot of good use of the, like, uh, curved pieces there. But from the back area, which I know one of those like rounded plates, but also did a like airplane uh, tail wing piece. But also with the sticker on it. It must be another kind of one that allows you to put studs on top. The top flap which which also has those more of those pieces but in turquoise interesting and for this back area which which you can also open up and those technic uh, beams in there where you can sit your star guys in and uh, so the feature which is you pull on this little thing in the back and then it drops them down. But also, but also you can like push it inwards and shoot the bit out of it. Such a neat, pretty neat feature that is. So big props to Lego for doing that. And so as for those detailings, like are they stickers and all? Yes, they a lot of stickers in this, but a lot of big stickers, which might warrant like peeling away and all over time, but whatever. But also, what these panels are for is where you can like put them open and little spots to put one of the heart pieces in, which is kind of similar to like some Star Wars sets where they hit a Jedi holocron in. And so now on to the final verdict. Once I get everything okay, well. So my overall verdict on this set is I think it which a pretty good set. A lot of neat colored pieces for mock making and also some exclusive figures and all. And also so like if you're looking to get this set for your Lego Movie 2 or Lego Movie set collection, then go ahead and pick this up. And if you're like wanting to get these figures or mock with these pieces, also go ahead and pick it up. And that's it with this video. Please like, comment, and comment. And thanks for watching.